everybody video here for you today i have not talked a lot about ancient sumer so we are going down just west of baghdad here today this is the ziggurat of dur kirigalzu down here and if i just back out this is just maybe seven eight miles west of baghdad there this is near the confluence of the diala and the tigris river this is a long outcrop this was founded by the Kassites about 3500 years ago they ruled here for at least three or four centuries. This is a pretty interesting place to look around on Google Earth, but here is the main feature, the ziggurat of Dur Kirigalzu. Dur, the prefix there, that just means fort, and Kirigalzu is a name found on the king's list more than a few times, coming from the Kassites. Here's a look at the ancient ziggurat, made of mud brick modern building around it. Here you see a soldier down here in the bottom right. This place was occupied during the wars out here. Here's a look coming from 105 years ago. This ancient structure was just kind of sticking up out of the desert. Parts of it were excavated here, built by the Kassites about 3,500 years ago, and they ruled the region for about 500 years. Here's another look coming from over 100 years ago. The Kassites started ruling in the region about 150 years before this place was built. It says this enormous structure rising over the desert sands resembles a sandstone butte, but is actually made of mud bricks and is about 3,400 years old. The structure was originally a ziggurat standing some 60 meters tall with foundations about 70 meters square. What remains today is the core and the rest was destroyed along with the city of Dur Kirigalzu that was invaded by the Elamites in about the 12th century BC. Dur Kirigalzu, or the fortress of Kirigalzu, is located about 30 kilometers west, of the center of Baghdad. The most visible monument was a ziggurat devoted to the main god of the Babylonian pantheon, Enlil. For centuries, camel caravans and later modern road traffic used a ziggurat as a landmark on their way to Baghdad. Locals called it the Hill of Nimrud, which caused many Western travelers to confuse it with the Tower of Babel. Personally, I think the Tower of Babel origin comes from ancient Haran. Let's go look around on Google Earth now. There is a few different types of ruins here. And this is a place that was a little confusing. Wasn't sure if I was seeing modern stuff or ancient stuff in a few places, but they say there is a few different types of ruins in here that probably display a few different periods of history. There was a large wall that surrounded this place at one time. There is a lot of stuff under the ground here. Let me just show you a few of them. They start out right down here. But one of the things I read, there was an ancient canal that brought water into the city. I think that's what I'm seeing right there. Some of these ruins are a little confusing, what you're actually looking at. There is a site right down here. Certainly a lot of ruins. Right beneath the surface, some of this place has been excavated. Some of it really hasn't been touched in about 3,000 years. There's stuff like this right down here. They said there are some mound-type structures. Is that what I'm seeing right down here? Those seem to be laid out in a certain pattern. With one just off to the east here. Some of these could be fairly modern. I'm just not sure. There's stuff right over here. I have seen stuff like this out in the desert of Egypt. Is this, is this ancient or is this modern? Does it have anything to do with the war? I was wondering a whole bunch of things here. There's stuff here. That's very reminiscent. Stuff I see out in the Egyptian desert right there. Some of this could be modern. Some of it could be ancient. You can cross over the river here and go all the way out to the end of this outcropping and see what looks like or appears to be ancient ruins all the way along this outcropping here. Here's a look at the area from the site. Here is a close-up look. The 3,400-year-old mud bricks that are still standing, the core of the ziggurat, they say. Give you a look at some history here up close. Here is a figurine head they think might be 31, 3,200 years old. A dignitary, and this guy had Marduk in his name. Here is what they say is a door socket coming from the site. Large stone here. You notice there is etching on there, something carved in there. This place isn't in the greatest shape, and it's in danger of collapsing a little, but it gives archaeologists a rare look. 
how these places were actually built. It says the Iraqi army did maneuvers and they built trenches here and they damaged the site in the 1980s. Then, of course, the ziggurat suffered damage as a result of the U.S. invasion of Iraq when the site was abandoned and looted during the security breakdown and the chaos that followed the U.S. military overthrow of Saddam Hussein. Here's a look at the museum here. Historical artifacts all looted, one of the terrible results of war. Here is the cylinder seal of Kiri Galzu II. Is that the uh, cuneiform script there? Looks like it. That's something flying in the air right there. What does that represent? Pretty interesting. Here's an area near a doorway that was excavated in 1946. The Cassites were here, and then the Elamites took over about 3,100 years ago. Here's a reproduction of a depiction of a ruler coming from inside the palace coming around 3,300 years ago. And comparing this to Egypt, maybe this comes from the same time as maybe King Seti, King Tut, kind of in that area. I just thought this was an interesting subject to talk about. I have not talked about ancient Sumer a lot. Here is a ruin coming from Iraq. This was discovered in the early 1800s. Excavation work done here in the 1940s. Saddam Hussein's government did a little restoration of the place in the 1970s. And then it kind of fell apart after the wars here. But there has been a little bit of restoration done here. This structure was dedicated to the Sumerian god Enlil. So I thought I'd talk about this over a couple cups of coffee this morning. I will get this uploaded after I hit a couple buckets of golf balls. My mind's been active over the past few months. The body, not so much. Need to change that, get out, get active. Hope you folks are too. That is coming from just west of Baghdad. Some ancient history there on a Friday. Hope you thought that was interesting. You all have. Very safe.